Larman Rahim. This video is about rubella in pregnancy, also known as German measles, and we will discuss it in the light of CDC recommendations. Rubella is a contagious disease caused by rubella virus. It is not caused by the same virus that causes measles. How does rubella spreads? It spreads through the air when an infected person coughs or sneezes, or by sharing food or drinks with someone who is infected. It can also be passed to a baby from a pregnant person who is infected. How much is the incubation period of rubella? A person with rubella may spread the disease to other people up to one week before they notice a rash. So, in fact, people can continue to spread the disease up to seven days after getting a rash. How to prevent spread of rubella infection? People infected with rubella should tell their friends, family and people they work with if they have rubella in order to break the chain of infection. So telling others help prevent the spread of rubella to even more people. Rubella is very dangerous for a pregnant woman and her developing baby. Anyone who is not vaccinated against rubella is at risk of getting this disease. Women should make sure they are protected from rubella before they get pregnant. What are the symptoms and signs of rubella? Rubella is usually mild with a flu-like symptoms followed by a pink or light red rash and the rash lasts for about 3 days. The other clinical features include headache, loss of appetite, runny nose, sore throat, cough, red eyes or the pink eyes. The condition is known as conjunctivitis, swollen glands in the neck or behind the ears, muscle aches or the joint pains, low-grade fever of about 102 degree Fahrenheit or 38.9 degrees Celsius or lower. Now we will talk about arthritis in rubella. Up to 7 in 10 means 70% teenager and adult women who get rubella develop arthritis. Infection with rubella virus causes the most severe damage when the mother is infected early in the pregnancy, especially in the first 12 weeks, that is first trimester. What is congenital rubella syndrome? It is a condition that occurs in developing baby in utero whose mother is infected with rubella virus. What are the fetal complications of rubella in pregnancy? Pregnant women who get rubella are at risk for miscarriage or stillbirth and their developing babies are at risk for severe birth defects with devastating lifelong consequences. What are the clinical features of congenital rubella syndrome? Those include meningoencephalitis, microcephaly, mental retardation, glaucoma, cataract, pigmentary retinopathy, hearing loss, Congenital heart disease like PDA or PS, hepatosplenomegaly or jaundice, radiolucence, bone disease, purpura, thrombocytopenia, and the low birth weight. The classic triad of rubella include cataract, cardiac abnormalities, and the deafness. Other manifestations include growth retardation, rash, hepatosplenomegaly, jaundice, meningoencephalitis, CNS defects leading to the moderate to profound mental retardation. The risk of congenital rubella syndrome is highest in the first trimester. Now, we'll talk about the vaccine recommendations in the pre-pregnancy period. Women who are planning to become pregnant should check their doctors to make sure they are vaccinated before they get pregnant. Pregnant women shouldn't get MMR vaccine because MMR vaccine is life attenuated live virus vaccine and the pregnant women who are not vaccinated should get the MMR vaccines after they give birth to the baby. Adult women of the childbearing age should avoid getting pregnant for at least four weeks after receiving MMR vaccine. Can a mother pass rubella to her baby during pregnancy? Yes, the best way to protect the baby is to make sure she is immune to rubella. Immune means being protected from an infection. If she is immune to an infection, it means that the baby can't get the infection. Now, how to check whether a patient is immune to rubella or not? If a patient is immune to rubella, it means she was vaccinated as a child or she had the illness during childhood. A rubella test, also known as rubella IgG test, can tell if she is immune to rubella or not. If a patient is thinking about getting pregnant and isn't sure if she is immune, the blood test will tell whether she is immune or not. If a patient isn't immune to rubella, here's what can be done to protect the baby from rubella. So before pregnancy, avoid, uh, advise MMR vaccine and wait one month before trying to get pregnant after getting the shot. 
During pregnancy, patient can be tested at the prenatal visit to make sure whether she is immune to rubella. If she is not immune, the MMR vaccine isn't recommended during pregnancy, but she is advised to stay away from anyone who has the infection. After pregnancy, get the MMR vaccination after childbirth. It is safe to get the MMR vaccine while nursing. Now, being protected from the infection means a patient cannot uh, pass it to her baby uh, before they get their own MMR vaccination at about 12 months. It also prevents her from passing rubella to her baby during the future pregnancy. Now, what are the chances of passing rubella to a baby during pregnancy? If a pregnant woman gets rubella in the first 12 weeks of pregnancy, her baby is about having 85% risk of getting infected. If she gets rubella at 13 to 16 weeks of pregnancy, her baby has about 50% chance of being infected. If she gets rubella at the end of her second trimester or later, she gets about 25% chance of infection. The management of rubella in pregnancy is better described in this table. At less than 12 to 16 weeks, offer termination of the pregnancy. At 16 to 20 weeks, confirm the infection on amniocentesis. And at more than 20 weeks, do nothing. Just do conservative management. So, how is rubella treated? Rubella infection is treated conservatively. There is no specific medicines to treat rubella. In many cases, the symptoms of disease are mild and staying in the bed means the bed rest. Drinking fluid and taking medicines to reduce fever can help a lot. Secondly, pregnant women with rubella may be treated with acetaminophen to help relieve her symptoms. And in most severe cases, treatment may include the blood transfusion. A blood transfusion is recommended when a patient is at hemodynamically unstable state and has got severe disease of rubella. Next, the steroids are also very helpful, which are synthetic hormones to treat inflammation, and they can be advised in more severe form of the rubella infection. So the advice for the patient is to contact her healthcare provider if she is pregnant and she thinks that she has got rubella or has been exposed to the person with the disease. So in that case, she should immediately contact her healthcare provider in order to get the appropriate treatment. So thank you so much. That was all about rubella infection in pregnancy along with the uh, clinical features of congenital rubella syndrome. So thank you so much. Subscribe on Ops and Gaini. Allah Hafiz.